And good morning everyone, and this morning we're going to be doing the Sky Point Climb. Now this one's going to be interesting because we're actually allowed to take our cameras or phones, and they usually don't allow that, so it should be quite interesting to see what it's like actually using the phone up there. And let's go up and have a look. So the Q1 building we're climbing today is located in Surface Paradise on the Gold Coast. It is the tallest building in Australia, standing at a whopping 322.5 metres tall. So it towers over every single other building on the Gold Coast. It's pretty exciting. The building was constructed from 2002 through to 2005 at a cost of $255 million. So that's a whopping massive price tag. So when we got geared up, we added one of the fastest lifts I've ever been in going from the ground floor to the 77th floor in just 43 seconds with the lift travelling at about 9 metres per second. Once we reached the Sky Point observation deck and exited to the left, we were greeted by an absolutely amazing view of the ocean and north facing buildings of surface paradise. On the observation deck, you can walk around the glass and observe scenery in all directions, which is just amazing to do on the Gold Coast. Now if you're coming to the Sky Point observation point or doing a climb, parking is available under the building with car park entrance on Hamilton Avenue. Make sure you register your car at the check-in with the Sky Point team to avoid your vehicle being towed. That's probably the last thing you want. Now if you want to go to the inside observation deck, you can purchase tickets online from about $17. And if you want to do the climb outside, climb prices start from $77. But like everything, it could change at any time, who knows, prices could go up, they always do. Uh, but also what you've got to consider as well is what time of the day you're doing it, if you're going to do the climb. Sort of mornings and afternoons you might pay a bit more. So yeah, just take that into consideration. If you've got children that wish to do the climb with you, they must be at least 12 years of age. Make sure you bring some form of ID as proof of age, and probably won't need it, but just in case. Only two children can accompany one paying adult. So if you have three or four kids, both parents are gonna to need to go. And if you've got five kids, well, unfortunately, yeah, you might have to get somebody else to go with you. So this is just a requirement of the climb. Also, there is a minimum height limit of 130 centimeters. So your kid might be 12 years old, but they might not be at the 130 centimeter limit yet. So they're not gonna be allowed to do on the climb. And there's also a weight limit of a maximum of 136 kilos. So please jump onto the SkyPoint website, which I'll link in the description below for the full terms and conditions for the SkyPoint climb. Take a read over it and just make sure it's just to suit you. I do recommend getting to the check-in desk about 20 minutes prior to the climb. You're gonna have to fill out some details on an iPad before commencing to get geared up for the climb. The SkyPoint team will supply all the gear necessary to do the climb safely, including a jumpsuit and climbing harness. You must wear enclosed rubber soled shoes, so you can't wear any thongs or as the Americans call it, flip flops. Uh, you can't wear sandals, so basically your feet need to be fully enclosed. I can't stress that enough, you just can't rock up in thongs, uh, so just be aware of that. Guests will have to do a breathalyzer test. And it's like driving a car, you must be under 0.05, otherwise you can't do the climb. So you can't turn up half cut after being to the pub, and you've got to be sober. It's just a base safety thing. Last thing the SkyPoint team needs is to be dealing with an intoxicated people doing silly things they aren't meant to do. So just behave yourself. You can take your sunglasses if you need them. You're provided with a strap to secure it to your outfit so you can still wear your glasses. The team will provide you with a hat if you require one, and that'll be also attached to your jumpsuit. During the climb, you will not have access to water, shade or torts, so make sure you sort that out before you actually go up. Uh, just read through the terms and conditions that I'll link in the description below at the website. Uh, just make sure you can actually go on the climb. Now, as I said earlier, on a normal climb, you're not allowed to take a camera or phone to take pictures. Our group was the first ever to be able to take your devices on the climb. They are still strapped to us, which is fine, but just to let you know. So if you're doing a normal climb, you're not gonna be allowed to take a camera or a phone. You will have a dedicated 
team member that will actually take photos of you guys on the climb but they have released another date for another climb for so if you want to take your uh, camera or phone you can so if you're doing vlogging or taking photos for whatever you do you can do that um, now I believe basically on the search schedule they've got this looks like they might be doing it monthly but we'll just see what happens in the near future so when you start the climb uh, you're starting at about 230 meters above the ground from the south entrance and we had to climb a ladder with a 60 degree elevation roughly so it's a bit of a steep one but just take your time it doesn't take too long to get up there don't rush uh, there's about 25 30 steps from memory once you reach the top of the ladder you can see some stunning views all the way down to Tweed Heads and as you look west you can see the mountains in the distance I think we were very very lucky as there was next to no wind at all which made the experience just that much better because uh, it's still winter here and fairly early in the morning I think it was between uh, roughly 7.15 and 7.30 we were probably up there for about an hour to an hour 15 minutes so you get a fair amount of time up there so just relax enjoy yourself do me a favor guys hit that subscribe button i'll have a fair few more videos to come soon thanks for watching